If you listen to the podcast at all, you already know that I am a huge fan of Diablo 3. I played it for a ridiculous amount of time on PC. The one thing that stopped me from playing that game is I fell and broke my my elbow. That's why there's a scar on my arm there um, from the surgery. But uh, I had gone running for, with my with my daughter, and I tripped and fell, and I broke my elbow, and I could not play Diablo anymore because I couldn't twist my arm the way that I wanted because it was uh, it was untwistable. I had to go through like months and months of uh, physical therapy. And that was a good thing because at the time I was totally hooked on Diablo. And then when it came to consoles, I ended up picking up the PS4 version. I played it a lot. Uh, It's really, really fun. Uh, Well, actually, when I first got it, I bought it and then I immediately regretted it. And I I didn't play it for probably a couple of months. But then I sat down and played it and I got hooked and I was playing it a lot and I was having a, a ton of fun uh, with Diablo, uh, going through and hanging out with Deckard Kane and uh, checking out New Tristram and uh, all of the crazy things that happen in that game. And then it was announced that Nintendo, uh, not Nintendo, that Blizzard was bringing Diablo 3 to the Nintendo Switch. And I immediately stopped playing the PS4 version because I think that playing it on the Nintendo Switch is definitely the place that you want to play it. This is a game that you can take with you. You can easily sit down and do a quick uh, rift, a quick Nephilim rift where you, uh, you know, you've already finished all of the story stuff and then you can go in afterwards and just do a quick run of a random dungeon with a random boss at the end and get a bunch of loot and, uh, you know, rinse and repeat over and over and over again. And it's really, really fun. And I, I also have to say that I have played the game on console and I've played it on PC and it's better on console. Like the control scheme that they have on console is absolutely fantastic. They really, really nailed the way to play that game on console. And it's even the thing that I like most about it, I think, is the way that you interact with the loot. Like when you loot something, uh, it pops up on the like lower left-hand side of the screen. And you can just really quickly, with a couple of button presses, look at uh, the items that you pick up because there's a lot of loot to pick up in a game like Diablo. And you go through and you're like, oh, yes, equip that, throw that away, equip that, throw that away, equip that, equip that, throw that away. And then when you get back to town, you talk to people, all the stuff that you marked as trash gets tossed and you're already wearing all of the stuff uh, that you decided to equip. Uh, It really streamlines the way that you play and it's very very fun and if there's ever a game that I feel is extremely well suited to be able to take on the go Diablo is it and I'm excited for Diablo but there was a little bit of confusion about whether or not we would be able to play Diablo with or without the uh, Nintendo Switch online Uh, because there's quite a few um, what's the word I'm looking for? There's quite a few games now. Well, maybe not quite a few, but there's at least a few uh, games now that do not require you to to pay for Nintendo Switch online service, which is this $20 a year service from Nintendo that allows you to connect to the internet and play games online with other people. Up until now, it's pretty much been, uh, okay, you everybody can play anytime but last month Nintendo introduced the service and said from here on out you got to pay to play and I'm not here to talk about that topic in particular I know it's divisive I know that there's people who are angry about it I know that there are people who say that they'll never play uh, Splatoon uh, 2 again and that's fine but that's not what I'm here to talk about Um, games like Fortnite and Arena of Valor, and I could be wrong, but I think Paladins, like those games, these are these are all free-to-play games, and none of them require you to pay for a Nintendo Switch Online in order to play online, which is very nice of those guys. I, I appreciate that, although I pay for Nintendo Switch Online. Um, people were asking Blizzard if you would have to, and they said, yes, you do have to pay for Nintendo Switch Online, to play the game 
online. And that made people a little curious. They were like, well, hold on, what does that mean for seasons? And if you don't know what I mean, in Diablo, there are seasons. So basically what will happen is they will give you a set of goals every season and you make a brand new seasonal character and that character can only play with other seasonal characters and you can't get stuff from your main character. That way it kind of puts everybody on a level playing field and then people start racing to finish this, uh, th these tasks off. It's actually really fun and it's a good way to extend the gameplay of Diablo further once you've already beat the story and done the expansions and stuff like that, which all of that stuff comes with uh, Diablo 3 Eternal Collection for the Nintendo Switch. And people were very, uh, were, they were upset because in order to play Seasons, you don't need to play with other people. You can play with other people, but you can also play solo. I did the last season on my PS4 completely solo um, well, I didn't finish it because, you know, shiny things distract me. Uh, but I did the last season on my PS4 solo, and I had a blast with it. And people were were upset saying, look, I want to continue doing this stuff, but I don't want to have to pay for Nintendo Switch online, especially if I'm not really playing online. The only online factor is that you connect to Blizzard servers, and Blizzard sends you the new tasks. Like, that's the extent of the online interaction unless you are grouped with other players. Um, so this was a post from a community manager on uh, the, the Battle.net forums, uh, Navalicist, I don't know how to say their name, sorry. Uh, this posted uh, earlier this month and they said, hey all, I see that there's some confusion about the necessity of the Nintendo Switch online service in relations to the upcoming Diablo 3 Eternal Collection. To clarify, access to playing seasons does not require a Nintendo Switch online subscription. However, access to online multiplayer does. This is identical to the way that gameplay features function for the Xbox One and PS4 versions of Diablo 3 as well. Hope this makes the situation more clear. So basically, they are saying, look, we're, do, we're going to do everything the same that we do on Xbox, that we do on PlayStation. We're going to do it all the same on Switch. You don't have to pay for the online version of X. You don't have to pay for Xbox Gold or, or Xbox Live uh, in order to uh, do the seasons. You don't have to pay for PSN in order to do the seasons. You don't have to pay for Nintendo Switch Online to do the seasons. And I like that Blizzard... Uh, has answered that question because I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there who are very interested in playing it, but they don't want to pay for online. And this is a game that you can play offline. And it's probably the game that Blizzard makes that works best offline. In fact, I would say it's the only one that works best offline. The rest of them really require online stuff, except for maybe StarCraft. Uh, and when you're talking about a portable console, that's really important. So good on you, Blizzard, for doing things the right way.